Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Valerie and this is Bright Violet Arts. In the video today, I am setting up my bullet journal for the month of July 2022. And my theme this month is very special to me. It is a tribute to Amy Winehouse. I just adore Amy Winehouse for her music, of course, and also her style and her personality. Um, it was uh, with great love that I put this together and I hope that you enjoy it as much as I do. All right, so for the uh, cover page art, I am starting off with a watercolor portrait of Amy. And uh, I completed this a little over a week ago and there is a part one of this video. Um, the plan with me for July has uh, another video to it that you may have seen. I'm gonna link it here at the top. But the first part of this just shows my process for the watercolor portraits because I actually did um, a total of 30 watercolor portraits of Amy over the last week or two. And I did this um, one, you know, of course, to get artwork for this bullet journal setup, but also because watercolor is kind of a new thing for me in terms of um, any kind of like disciplined uh, practice with it. So doing 30 back to back portraits uh, of Amy was um, really intense and incredibly helpful for um, getting up on that learning curve. So I feel like I made a lot of progress with it and just the immersion in you know one project um, was uh, really the right way for me to kind of like train myself through the trial and error of a new medium. So anyway, um, I, I took those pictures, the, the paintings that I made, and I scanned them in to my computer and then I made a few photo edits in the Procreate app, um, which is a digital illustration app. So I was able to resize these pictures uh, after I painted them and make them you know, fit a little bit better uh, as I needed them throughout the, the bullet journal setup. So you'll see that. And here's a great example. I got to this point in the cover page and decided that the photo I had originally used was too small. So I just printed out a larger version of that finished painting. And uh, that gave me you know, the, the drama that I was looking for on the cover page. And I'm really happy with the uh, banner heart design for the July title because it really captures the tattoo aesthetic that I want to use as a motif this month throughout the setup. The pins I'm using for this setup are primarily Posca paint pins. I think I do have one um, Crayola Colors of the World marker here that I'm using to uh, highlight text and um, add some shading in various places, but mostly I'm using paint pens. The calendar, I kept it really simple. Um, I didn't really have enough room on top of the daily boxes for the days of the week, so I just decided to drop them down to this lower margin here. And uh, I hope that doesn't bother me throughout the month that the days of the week are on the bottom of the calendar, but I figured better there than not putting them at all. And then that left me room here for another banner design uh, for the July title. Even though the banner um, is actually supposed to be white and it's on white paper, I'm still gonna use a white paint pen to color it in because that um, opaque paint really pops off the page even though it's white on white. And then I've used a beige uh, paint pen to add some shading to the reverse side of the banner and then just a few little highlights there, or lowlights, I guess. So here's the finished calendar page. And after this, I moved on to um, a full quote page. So I've got another large painting um, of Amy and then I'm gonna use this quote here. And uh, this quote, I just, I don't know, I, I really like it. Uh, it's a, a song lyric, of course. It's from the song, um, You Know I'm No Good and uh, I figure this is just very well suited to Amy and her rock and roll reputation. Which is to say, you know, I mean, technically Amy was a jazz singer, but, you know, in life she was such a rock star, right? Such an icon. In keeping with the tattoo motif um, for this setup, I used uh, like a tattoo style of capital letters for the hand lettering. 
and I'm going to layer up um, some different colors on each of these letters. And that's one of the things I love the most about using paint pens in my journal is that I have that capability. Just the only thing I would say is if you're new to paint pens and you try that, just make sure you let the layers dry completely in between colors, otherwise it creates just a great big mess. <laughs> so the dry time is, you know, essential. I added these little flourishes at the top and bottom of the lettering because they also looked like tattoo art that I've seen. And uh, then of course I went to washi tape because that's how I do it around here. You guys know that. So I've washi taped it up and I think that quote page is all done. So I am jumping into my tracker spread now. And this one is just gonna be for tasks and habits. For my task list, I thought it would be cute instead of just boxes to check off to use little stars. So I'm stenciling in some stars there to mark off when I complete tasks. And then of course, um, it's like kind of cute that Amy's biggest hit, or one of them, was uh, the song Valerie, which happens to be my name. So I wanted to include that lyric here um, because of course I did. And I also added um, two little double hearts here. Um, and that's just a nod to a tattoo that Amy had on her right shoulder. She had um, a couple of pinup girls tattooed and then she had a little double heart. And that double heart showed up in a lot of my paintings. So I thought it was cute to just reference it with a doodle there. And um, as I have been doing a lot lately, I've got nine habits to track. I'm hoping I can keep up with those. I'll try. And then moving on, I am using the uh, Procreate app on my iPad now to make some adjustments to uh, a black and white watercolor painting that I did. Um, you can see the original painting is right there next to the iPad at the right of the screen. And I just made a few adjustments to her eyes before I printed that out, and I was happier with the second version of the painting. So this is um, not exactly a quote page, but it's just kind of like a little tribute page. So um, Amy had uh, two studio albums in her life, and the second one, Back to Black, was you know an international success. So I have uh, included just some facts about the awards that she won, um, specifically the Grammy Awards. She won five awards uh, for that album, and I believe that she holds the record for British performers, or at least British female performers, for sweeping the Grammys. Nobody's ever gotten quite as many as Amy did. On the opposite page of this spread, I am setting up a one line a day page, and um, this is cool because I haven't done it in a long time. It's been quite a few months, maybe six months if I had to guess, since I have tried to keep up with a one line a day. I stopped including it because I wasn't keeping up with it, but um, so far this month, like it's June right now that I'm recording this, um, so far this month I've been doing really well with my trackers, so I thought I would just go for broke and include a one line a day next month. I'm just going to be optimistic about getting everything filled in because that's great stuff to look back on. I love one line a day. Next up, I am trimming down a full page um, illustration to fit in the left column of some Dutch Door weeklies that I'm setting up. I'm going to have the whole month of June in a Dutch Door setup this time. This illustration looks a little bit different than the others just because I did the entire illustration this time in Procreate rather than um, painting something on paper and scanning it in. This one was entirely, um, you know, digitally generated. And I want to point out here, um, my Dutch doors that I'm cutting, uh, this is a cautionary tale. I cut four pages and made four tabs for these weeklies because I needed four weeks. But guess what? That's too many. Um, I, I know this. It's like a rookie mistake that I made this time. I know it because I've been doing this for a while. But uh, I just forgot and I cut an extra page. I only, so the rule is subtract one, right? Like if you need five weeks for your weeklies, only cut four pages. If you need four weeks, only cut three pages. So I forgot that rule. I cut an extra tab, but it's okay. I just eventually, um, I fixed it by just gluing it down. Um, the last page I just glued down so it doesn't open. And then the flap, or the tab rather, still looks kind of cute um, on the right hand art column here, which 
as you can see, is more hand lettering, just of her name Winehouse, which I just think that looks so cool. It looks to me like it could be like her name on like, you know, a theater sign or like a, a concert poster or something. I really liked it. To really make the letters pop, I'm using a white Jelly Roll gel pen to add a little drop shadow, just a skinny little drop shadow on those letters, really set them off that red background. I stenciled in some little stars on the tab because they just seemed very rock and roll to me again. Uh, these beige uh, lines here, this is an area for tasks and notes uh, within the weeklies and I will repeat this section on each weekly flap. I use this um, like fancy italic, it's not really italics, it's, I don't know what you'd call it, but that kind of lettering is also similar to a font that Amy had in one of her tattoos. Um, she had like a bird. I don't know what kind of bird it was, but it was a bird and it said, I think like, never clip my wings or don't clip my wings. Um, but anyway, so the font looked like this one and I thought this would be a nice change to the block tattoo letters that I was using before. Okay, there's the finished Dutch door setup for four, not five weeks. And then I've uh, set up the next page here. Um, I've got one side reserved for current events. And I'm a little bit like unsure of whether I want to do that or not really. Um, on the one hand, I like to look back at current events or whatever, you know, events are in the news that um, pique my interest. I like to record that month to month in my bullet journal and just look back on it um, for historical context later, you know, especially like years later when it starts to, you start to get perspective on past events, you know, when you get further away from them. So I'm thinking like 20 years from now, I'm really going to want to see what was going on in the world when I was, you know, setting up this page. But at the same time, I'm nervous to do it because the state of the world today is um, just, you know, I mean, you guys know it's so hard. It's so hard to deal with um, the atrocities and injustices that are uh, seeming to be just more, more in number and um, greater in tragedy. <laughs> lately. So uh, I'm going to put current events there, but yeah, I'm scared of it. I wish current events were a little more positive. But anyway, not to bum you guys out, but um, on the other side, I've got playlist here. Um, I decided to use a uh, little like records, like albums, vinyl, because <laughs> Amy seems like the kind of girl that would appreciate vinyl. I don't know that, but it just seems to go with the aesthetic. I mean, she was really into like 60s music and 60s style. So I figured I might as well do some vinyl for my playlist icons here. And I just, I left room for four songs and I put enough of these beige lines so that I can write in like the title, the artist, and then if I want to put any comment, like where did I hear it from, or you know, did a friend introduce me to it, or you know, whatever, whatever I want to say about it. And that brings us to the final flip through of my Amy setup. So I just want to thank you guys so much for checking out the video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you'll give it a thumbs up if you did. That means a lot to me. Um, if you have questions, if you want to share any comments, uh, feel free to hit me up in the comments. Um, I love to see that and I will try to reply to you um, if, I, if I can because uh, you know if you have questions about like the supplies or the materials, um, I love to talk about that stuff, <laughs> so let me know. Um, otherwise, you guys, if you want to see more of my work, like day-to-day -day kind of stuff, you can follow me on Instagram, and I will link my account at Bright Violet Arts. I'll link it in the description box. But until next time, you guys, um, I wish you the best of health, happiness, and journaling in the month to come. Thanks again for checking out Bright Violet Arts.